Hi everybody, so this is Meg here and I am going to be doing a pillow workout with you today. So just getting things right, ready. And what I invite you to do is go find a pillow. All right, here we go. So hello everyone, going to get started with a fun pillow workout today. So what I encourage you to do is to grab a pillow Something about this size that you can easily hold on to. All right. And this workout today is going to be um, geared for adults 50 plus. Um, a few options. Option one is we are going to be doing some seated exercises, and then we're also going to do some standing as well. All right. So make sure you have a chair handy. Make sure you've got your pillow. And we're going to get started. So we're going to start by holding on to that pillow and we'll begin with a side step. So we're going to step side to side. And if you're watching live today, I encourage you to let me know. So send me a one in the comment section below if you're watching live. And if you're watching the replay, put a two below. All right, so we're doing some side steps to get warmed up, and I encourage you to move those arms, move that pillow from side to side. All right, so breathing in and out as we go. And I encourage you to really watch that posture. Sometimes when we're doing movements and focusing, we kind of round those shoulders a little bit. So really think about standing nice and tall. All right, awesome. We're gonna change up those legs and this time tap your toe in front of the other. Tapping that toe right in front of the other. Continue with those arms side to side. Good. All right. So this past month, the month of May, I've been focusing on exercises to help you gain strength and mobility right at home. And um, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do subscribe, Aim Fitness, Activities in Motion. Um, and next month, the month of June, which is coming up really soon and kind of hard to believe, I'm going to be focusing on doing exercises um, to help you stay motivated. So helping you to get motivated and stay motivated, because I think that's really the key. All right, let's change it up. You'll see here, next one we're gonna do is bending your knees, kicking your legs back. And what we'll do with the arms is we're gonna curl the arms. So from the side, it looks like this. Focusing on coordination at the same time. So bringing that pillow up towards your chest, bicep curl and kicking those legs back. So today you'll notice I have sock feet. Usually I am wearing my shoes, but today I am not. But uh, one thing I do want to point out is if you tend to lose your balance, if you're a little bit, you know, if you have a slippery floor, then it's important to wear some kind of footwear. All right, let's keep on breathing in and out. Let's go for three and two. And one, let's tap those toes in front and we're gonna extend those arms out and in, looking just like this, tapping one leg at a time. And this is a really good one for your posture. So think about squeezing those shoulder blades back each time, reach and squeeze. All right, and if you enjoy this video today, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment. I always love hearing from everybody. Awesome job. Good, let's go for three. And two. And one more time. All right, very good. So next we're gonna be doing a crossover. So cross that foot, tapping to the side. What we'll do with the pillow is we're gonna take it the other way. So we're doing a little bit of a twist. Now, if you have osteoporosis or any spine issues, then keep your torso facing forwards as you do this, just moving your arms, just moving the pillow. However, if you want to use that core a little bit more, and if your back is okay and allows you, then do a little further twist. You'll notice what it looks like here. I'll show you from the side as well. Twisting. Good. Just a reminder to breathe. 
Keep on breathing. Awesome job. So it's pretty fun when you think about all that you can do with a pillow that's lying around your house. So something I talk about quite often is snacking on exercise. And what that means is really focusing on just doing a few exercises here and there. Doesn't necessarily have to be a full hour every time you move your body. But if we can start to get into developing a healthy habit, you can just, you know, even pick up that pillow and just do a few of these movements while you're watching TV, maybe while you're um, waiting for someone to call you. If you have a spare second during the day, then these are excellent exercises that are simple enough to remember. All right, way to go. Awesome. So what we'll do now is we're going to move down to the chair. So pull that chair out. And we're going to be doing a few other exercises here. So the first one we'll do is we're going to be holding that pillow so it's flat. And I want you to lift your knee up to tap that pillow. All right, so we're lifting the knee. We're not lowering the pillow. So keep it high. And what you can do is you can challenge yourself. If you want to lift that knee a little bit higher, just lift the pillow up. Now, if you do have a hip replacement, I would recommend not going any higher than 90 degrees. So just be mindful of the movement here. Good. All right, so I know many of you have been asking about my online fitness program, AIM Fitness Online. And um, this past month has been really great. We're just moving into our fourth week. And uh, I wanted to just invite you, if you're looking for more accountability, if you enjoy these videos, but you're looking for something a little bit longer and a little bit more in depth, and you want to also learn about nutrition for, for yourself as you get older, then uh, make sure to check out my comment section. I'll leave some information with, the, uh, with info about AIM Fitness Online. But I did want to mention that I do have some special pro promo pricing right now. Here, we'll change it up, add a kick. Continue to bring that pillow. This time we're gonna be tapping down to your thigh each time. And we're gonna bring those elbows out to the side. So I did wanna mention I have special promo pricing for um, because of COVID-19 and because there's so many people who can't get out of their homes and are really wanting to invest in their health and exercise more. So I have that special pricing uh, right now, just until uh, June the 15th. So if you are interested, you've been thinking, you know what, now's the time to invest in my health. I really wanna get in into a good program. I wanna get into a good routine. This is the best time to start before we get into our month of June, which is focused on getting and staying motivated. I've got some great videos, great helpful tips for you guys, and excited to grow the group. All right, so the next one, again, we're gonna lift the knee, and I want you to pass that, uh, the pillow, under and over, under and over. Now, if your knees are not lifting this high, then the other option is to just to do a figure eight of the pillow. So that's your other option. You can either do a small little lift or just do your arms only. But if you can, challenge yourself here. And from the side, it looks like this because we're gonna be leaning backwards just a little bit. So we're working your core as well. Awesome job. Good, so we'll keep going. Let's do a few more here. All right, good, so really fun exercises. Hope you guys are enjoying this with the pillow. Let me know if you are. And also let me know if you are able to get out for a walk, if you've been getting outside a little bit. I'm uh, shooting live from Ottawa, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And this past week was absolutely beautiful. We had a beautiful weekend as well. And I'm just loving, loving the weather. All right, two more, and one. All right, good, good. So let's do another one. This is a great uh, leg strengthening one, especially for our inner thighs. So we're gonna take that pillow and I want you to place it right between your knees and sit on the edge of the chair. So I know quite often we have a hard time 
knowing how do we strengthen our inner thigh muscles? How do we get rid of some uh, pain that's in my legs? And this is a really good one you can do. All right. So what we'll do here is we're going to squeeze those legs in and then relax out. Squeezing your thighs into that pillow and relax out. Now, if you have a pillow such as mine, which is fairly flat, what you can even do is you can even put it sideways so that you have more to push. Okay, so you may find that you have a better, uh, a better, I don't know how to say this, <laughs> greater surface area so you can really push in a little bit more. All right, so this is your other option. Squeezing in and release, feeling those inner thighs working. Breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, I do have a question for everyone who's watching. Now, I would love to know if it would be helpful for me to shoot a few outdoor videos. I know that many of you enjoy getting out for walks and um, sometimes it can be helpful to know what are the stretches that you can do right outside after doing a walk or what are some exercises that you can do um, you know, if there's some stairs around or if there's a bench. So let me know in the comment section below if you would appreciate a few videos with some outdoor exercises, because I would love to do that. All right, one more time here. Woo, and let's stretch it out. So inner thighs and thighs have just been working. Now tomorrow, if you wake up and you're a bit sore, don't be surprised. <laughs> So it's okay, it's okay to feel sore, it's okay to feel like your muscles have been working. That's really a good thing. Now, on the other hand, if you're sore for the next week, then that may be an indicator that you've pushed just a little bit too hard. All right, awesome, so that's a really good one. So now we're gonna do one for our upper body. So we're gonna be holding on here and I want us to squeeze. So we're gonna be doing some chest squeezes. And again, you have the option, you can squeeze from here. Now I find, you know, again, depending how thick or thin your pillow is, you won't have much to squeeze. But if you take it wider, it's, you're gonna be able to push a little bit more. All right, so breathing in as we relax and then breathe out as you push. Breathe in and breathe out. Always breathing out on the exhale and the effort. Exhale on the effort. Good, so this one is targeting our shoulders. You'll feel this down your arms and your chest as well. Good, let's go for three more. Steady breathing. Two, and one more. All right, amazing, let's circle it back. Circle it back. And we're going to end with one more, one of my favorite stretches for your back. I'll show you from the side so you can fully see so we're gonna hold on to that pillow nice and close. Your elbows are bent, shoulders are back, and then we're going to reach those arms, stretching your back, and then pull the pillow in. So each time we're squeezing our shoulder blades in. So reach and squeeze in. Good. Breathing in here and breathing out. Awesome job. Now, if you have any back pain, any, um, you know, you may have osteoporosis in your back or spine, then what I suggest is sticking with this one. But if you're okay in that regard, then I encourage you to really lean forwards, take it a bit further, and then squeeze it back. So push that pillow away, stretch as much as you can, and then come back in. Good, stretching it out, coming back in. Awesome work. This is our last one, so let's make it worth it. And this is a good one to end with because it's helping us to improve our posture and develop stronger backs. All right, one more time. Good, and let's relax. Relax those shoulders. Circling backwards here. Awesome. So I'm gonna uh, help you I'm gonna remind you of just a few little tips that you can take into your day. So number one is remember to snack on exercise. So take a few of these exercises we've done with the pillow today, uh, write them down, or just put a little reminder in your calendar or your phone um, to move your body to get going. And then another reminder as well is 
um, the best way to start a new habit and to start exercising more regularly is to do it along with something that you're already doing. So for instance, let's say you get up in the morning and you like to start with a glass of water. Do a few of these exercises. Maybe do two stretches right in the morning, right after you have your water, and that way it'll start to become a habit when you do that more and more. All right, so thanks for joining today. Great to see you all. Remember, let me know where you guys are watching from. Let me know if you would like me to do some outdoor exercise videos in the future as well. I'd be happy to if that's something you'd like. And I'm really excited to see you guys later this week. So thanks again for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this fun exercise video with your pillow. And I will see you guys again soon. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy.